So earlier today, I was celebrating because I got off work. I figured I'd treat myself to a nice meal. So I went to the grocery store and I bought myself a Totino's frozen party pizza. And I had a little party for one in my mouth. Because you can't really, it's just very small. You can't share that pizza. It's only one person can have that party. But afterwards, I was super thirsty. I was super thirsty for like two days. I had a cape and a cowl and a big T on my chest. I was super thirsty. And my arch nemesis was Totino's frozen party pizzas. And my superpower was quenching parched lips. <laughs> That's the I love that. The response by Brick was exactly what I was going for with that joke. The do it again. Can you do it? Yeah, this is good. <laughs> it's good. Can you pan over to catch the the reaction? I'll do the joke again. So I got the pizza. I was quenching parched lips. <clears throat> so afterwards, since I was so thirsty, I figured I'd, I'd find out what the deal was, why I was so thirsty. So I went and fished out the box from the trash and looked on the back, and it turns out Totino's frozen party pizzas are 31% of my daily recommended dose of sodium, which is a lot of salt. It's like three slices of salt. Shouldn't I see the salt at that point? Like if it were three, if it were like 31 percent of my daily dose of ninjas on the pizza, I would probably see them. And they're trained not to be seen. And slice people in half and stuff. And throw Chinese stars. Very cool. They don't shoot people in the face. Who lets their kid do that? Jesus. You see this? <laughs> yes. You're on candid camera. No. They don't know what that is. Um, so, so after I ate the pizza, I'd, I had to floss. And I love flossing. I love flossing. It's one of my favorite things to do. And uh, my favorite kind of floss is the Oral-B satin floss because it makes me feel sensual. But the problem with the Oral-B satin floss is that it's very slippery, like satin. Which I guess is a good thing if you're flossing. But it slips out of your hands when you're flossing. So I thought of the perfect solution. I was watching a baseball game. You know the stuff they, they put on the bat to keep the bat from slipping out of their hands? Pine tar, which works pretty well for floss, I found out. Keeps it on the hands. But one day I forgot, I forgot to put the pine tar on my left hand and proceeded to pull the floss through my teeth, shredding it. And I left the piece of floss in between my teeth, which sucks. This really sucks. I was trying to think of an analogy to sum up how much this sucks. And the only thing that I could come up with is 
You know when you, uh, you know when you get like a piece of floss stuck in between your teeth and you can't get it out. <laughs> Sucks. That's pretty much it. That's it. So what do you use to get the floss out? Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. That used to be my closer. <coughs> but it's not anymore. That cough was an act. <laughs> and you bought it. <laughs> yes. I'm working on my acting skills. You never know when you might get cast in a sitcom playing a doctor. Where's Brick? He just cast me in a sitcom starring a, as a doctor. Smoking. Great. So I did the floss, did I do the floss joke? Did I do the ninjas on the pizza joke? Did the ninja you don't remember. Good. It'll sneak up on you. So I'm recently single, and uh, since I'm on the market, I'm trying to get a hold of these problems that I've developed in the last couple days since I've been single. Tend to fart a lot. So this doesn't come in very useful unless you're giving Dutch ovens. <laughs> so I, I want to get a handle on it, right? So I asked my friend who stopped farting, I said, how did you stop farting? And he said, well, you have to eliminate things one by one from your diet. And that'll tell you which things are causing you to fart. Unfortunately, now the only thing left in my diet is black bean and broccoli chimichangas. Only thing I think I'm narrowing it, narrowing it down. I think I'm narrowing it down. Are they here for the comedy show? Maybe we should make them here for the comedy show. What do you think? No? Are you guys here for the comedy show? No. What? You can't. You came for the comedy show. See? They're here for the comedy show now. Look at that. <laughs> Just like that. All right. Do you want to come up and reintroduce the comics, Jimmy? Because this is going really well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up, I think. Maybe. Hold on. Let's see. What do I... Did I do the floss joke? Ah. Okay. Um... So I started taking yoga, and I found the easiest yoga teacher. She's at Yoga Yoga. Her name is Rebecca. You know, originally, Yoga Yoga was just called yoga. And some guy was like, why, don't, why not Yoga Yoga? I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. And somebody else, you know, there was somebody else that was like, why not yoga, yoga, yoga? And they shot him down because that's ridiculous. You can't have three yogas in the name. And you know that somebody else was like, why not yoga, 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 yoga? And they were like, well, that's, why would you even bring that up? We just said three was too many. That's not funny. I just added that. I just thought of that. Not funny. I'm working on that one. So I'm in the yoga class with the easiest yoga instructor ever. Her name is Rebecca. Okay, she she works at the North 